Hello my friends, today we are in Final Cut Pro and I just want to show you how to find the faulty frames when your export fails. For example, I was working on editing this video last night. When I went to export it, I got a um, share failed message over here and then when I clicked on the details of it, this message was waiting for me there. And it says the share operation 4K YouTube B, this is just the way I had my file named, has failed. And it tells me that the frame that was faulty was this frame 16442. So this is important to remember, click on your details over there on your message when it fails and you will get the frame number that is faulty. So in this case, it's 16442. And I wanna show you a really easy way how to find that frame and delete it so you can export your project without doing any math, no calculator needed, just all very simple. So I just want to show you really quickly how you can find that frame without doing any kind of math, no calculations. You don't have to divide this number by your frames per second and to the 60 second per minute and so on. There is a really, really easy way to find that frame and delete it so you can export successfully your project. So once you have your frame number, the easiest way to find it is you see in the timeline, you have your hours, minutes, seconds and frames over here. But if you go into your Final Cut Pro and go into Preferences, over here under the General, you see we can change the time display from our minutes, seconds, and frames. We can change it to frames only. And now this is my frame and fault. That's, it's set up in here because I already found it. But you see, I could just scroll through my frames and we know from the message that I got that was the 16442, so all I have to do is go to 16.442. And indeed you see it's a faulty frame, it's a black frame. The 441 it's good, the 442 it's bad, the 443 is good again. So all I need to do is to, you know, go command B to the, cut it over there, go back past the black frame, command B to cut it over here then we can zoom onto the time frame over here and we can delete our faulty frame. Just click on it and delete. And now my project, it's good. I have no more faulty frames and I was able to export it. So that is how you find your faulty frame. They give it to you right in the message. The only thing you need to go do is go to the preferences, and to general and change your time frame from hours, minutes, seconds, and frames to just frames. So I just thought I'll do this really quick video because it might help you if you have that problem. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyla Ewing. I'll see you in my next video.